well. Um, I'm a PhD student at the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Porto. Uh, I, 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 I bring this work here uh, that uh, is related with my PhD uh, work that is based on uh, fatigue in uh, parabolic uh, in springs that applied in train wagons. Well, uh, this, this work is an um, application of uh, approach for random loadings the, um, and this approach is, uh, is usually called because uh, the maximum variance method. Um, I, 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 well, um, this this work uh, takes too too to, to long to to get a lot of results. So uh, I will focus on the numerical details, and I will present um, a result in, in, in the end of the presentation. Well, uh, everyone knows the importance of the, um, of the the real sector in. The, at nowadays, yes, for environment and uh, world economic, economic but uh, we need uh, more efficient maintenance practices, at least uh, in Portugal. <laughs> uh, so, uh, otherwise, um, we can have uh, failures like fatigue in, uh, for example, in the English streets. Well, I presented, I presented here um, three different spots where is where fatigue uh, fillers uh, are, are typical to a to a well um, yeah, I'm going to hear the the type of suspension. Well um, we we made the uh, we made the a collection data from LBDTs in the real loading conditions. So we can see here that uh, the the loading Loading is very uh, is very random, so we need uh, to analyze. We need to methods um, we need to methods to analyze uh, fatigue behavior uh, under random amplitude loadings. But we need uh, we need a simple and uh, a suitable method. And, and for me, after uh, after looking in literature. I found the maximum variance method. Maximum variance method uh, is a, a method that takes, takes in account uh, the, the critical points approach, where um, in, at, at which this method considers that the critical point of a deep crack initiation should occur where the variance with over shear stress is maximum. Well, we, uh, we have this formula to calculate the variance of the result shear stress is this formal uh, is well demonstrated in uh, this this paper well it's it's uh, really simple because we just need to uh, to pick the the collected data and calculate the variance and covariance matrix of the stress or if you want uh, I guess we can uh, apply in the, in the strain well, but uh, we calculate the variance and covariance matrix, and uh, uh, we need to formulate the, the vector B that uh, takes into account the, the orientation of the, the of the, the critical point. So uh, yes, after that we need to uh, apply um, optimization method. Uh, I consider the ancient gradient method, um, and this method uh, permits to, uh, looks for the optimal angles that maximize the, the variance of the resolution stress. Well, I, I, here I'm presenting the, uh, the, the parabolic springs. This the springs uh, has two regimes of stiffness. Okay. You can see here after after, uh, after uh, a specific displacement, we have the the stiffness has increased uh, as five leaves, and the material is a high strength chromium vanadium. About the 
mechanical model. We are considering uh, a static debris conditions. The contact uh, was simulated without friction effects, uh, with an augmented log region uh, nested scheme. Well, to, to create the, the model, we, we need to um, we need to solid, uh, solid elements, contact elements, and uh, a linear uh, spring element to uh, simulate the boundary conditions, the double links and fix the, the parabolic strings to the wire. Well, uh, we only simulate uh, enough uh, of a full numerical model because we are, uh, we are interested in, uh, in considering the vertical displacement and the lateral displacement. Because, uh, because uh, there is a gap, there is a gap in the, in the suspension and with the movement of the train we have a lateral movement of the axle that induces the torsion and the uh, additional flexure on on the on the parabolic surface. Well, ab ab about the material uh, behavior, we I I consider elastic basket model for just uh, the mass of the springs. For the rest of components, uh, materials are only linear elastic. We need to consider large deflection as well. And we consider that for plastic invert here, the model of the is uh, plastic security. Okay. And uh, the cyclic hardening are, are, uh, are introduced by a uh, combined hardening model that we need to uh, determine, uh, determine the, 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 the parameters. So we can determine the parameters using, for example, this full chart. Well, we need to, we need firstly to calculate the strain life parameters uh, using uh, just the monotonic properties uh, from the tensile tests. Uh, I used uh, the modified uniform uh, slopes method. Then we can uh, create the Ramirez good uh, in, in the Ramirez good uh, curve. Uh, we get the parameters of, of this curve and we can uh, estimate by least square fitting uh, the, um, the Chavosh um, parameters and we can uh, estimate as well the isotropic hardening by the difference between the cyclic uh, yielding stress and the, the monotonic yielding stress. Well, uh, this is an important slide because we, we, we need to define the, the, uh, the loading conditions. Well, uh, I, should, uh, I suggest two scenarios. The, the first scenario is is on is on the okay. It's presented here. Uh, well, we can see the scenario like uh, the wagon uh, uh, the wrong the wagon runs without goods goods. And the second scenario uh, with a higher load loading, we, we can see that the the wagon. Uh, carries uh, goods. goods. Well, uh, to uh, to uh, to define the the loading, uh, we need to understand uh, the the random of the, um, the amplitude, this, the displacement amplitude. So we collect uh, um, from LVDTs that uh, in in the experiments in the real conditions, and we use the rain uh, rainfall procedures to determine the, the rainfall matrix, and, and we can see, sorry, and we can see that uh, the the mean displacement is mainly constant, so you, but uh, the amplitude, uh, as um, I I uh, I can see a, a normal, I consider a normal distribution. So. If we if, so, if we are if we take the counted information, we can create the displacement um, that we need to apply the, in the in the parabolic space. Uh, uh, one point very important uh, to simulate to simulate the, the vibration in uh, in real conditions, we need to firstly apply the vertical displacement and then apply the the random, uh, 
the random displacement in lateral and the vertical direction at the same time. Well, um, I presented here a, a comparison between um, between the, 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 the some failures that have appeared in, uh, in parabolic springs and uh, the maximum uh, variance method. Well, uh, well. Uh, with the maximum variance analysis, if we, we make in each each uh, nodal point, we can uh, and considering an equivalent amplitude shear stress, uh, given by this formula, um, well, there is a high probability to further where the the variance of the resolved shear stress is maximum. So we can see here in the in the in these figures that uh, the maximum that there is a maximum on the lateral side and on, on the notches. These points are higher because in our model we have we have uh, um, we, we fixed the, the, move, the lateral movement of, uh, at the end. It is mandatory because uh, the simulation branch. Um, then uh, also the highest values of the variance of Resolution stress are consistent uh, with favorite spots of parabolic discrete. I can see here the <coughs> spots, yes. If uh, the quality is bad, it was better, we can see the, the, <laughs> the correct fronts. Um, and, uh, well, uh, some remarks. Uh, the, the, maximum, the maximum variance method permits to know the most critical spots for graph initiation. And uh, for parabolic springs and their random loadings, the MVM verifies the, the highest values on variance of notches and not outside. Well, next steps is, is necessary because uh, uh, for fatigue and uh, assessment of these, pro these, these springs, well, uh, we can est estimate the fatigue life using uh, root, root mean square uh, for amplitude and uh, and mean stress uh, as an equivalent for uh, for um, to introduce in probabilistic fatigue curves. And also it's this is it's 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 mandatory as well. It is to use simple numerical models to decrease the time point. Uh question <laughs> So, do you know about the real cases? Where was the fatigue break initiation? In the real cases? Real cases of the springs. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, well, the, the most uh, the most possible where the, the break initiations. Okay. Uh, Dark initiation it's usual appears uh, here, okay, in the master belief, always in the, at the master belief, not in other ones. Uh, here, or less, or closer to uh, to the spring buckle. Mm -hmm. Spring buckle is the, uh, the central part. And uh, 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 sometimes appears uh, on the notch um, of the, the swings. Because we have uh, a notch on the center to to bend or to to guide uh, or to centralize the, all all the springs and uh, appears as well uh, here next to the the fix. Do you think support. do you think friction can have effect on crack initiation? I I, I uh, uh, the friction. If it's important here, okay. Uh, I have uh, I have m made some studies in in, um, in, um, in um, mechanical behavior of the parabolic springs, uh, considering the friction effects. But uh, uh, well, uh, if uh, without uh, friction, uh, the, the simulation takes to too long uh, with friction, I guess it's take a longer. But it, it's a it's it's possible. 
I don't know. I don't know if uh, if um, the, the effect of friction here uh, will influence here. Yes, that is uh, probably here and here are the. No, but maybe if it's in the in the right, then yeah, yeah. the friction can cause some pits. And yeah, the the, 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 the fracking fatigue. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's an <coughs> other top. Yes, but I think the geometry is dominant here. Yes, no. Sorry. The geometry is dominant. Geometry uh, of that part. Yeah. And the influence of the friction. Uh, yes. Can be big. So. Yeah. Could be. Thank you. You were dealing here with really interesting topic and you gave us numerical and experimental analysis of a really good problem. Okay, sorry. I, <laughs> just, <laughs> I didn't see you. Just one, you can one, ask one question. Yeah. I really enjoyed your presentation because I, uh, it is about uh, uh, random loading, so this is my main research topic. So I want to share you an objection that people uh, very often make to me regarding the choice of a Gaussian distribution for the loading. Be careful because uh, very often you will, uh, people will tell you that, uh, I agree with them, a Gaussian distribution is not, uh, could be oversimplified because in reality you may have non-linearities and so on, non-Gaussian okay. distribution. And this will complicate okay. yes. a lot of your, your analysis. So, uh, good luck. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and regarding, uh, just to conclude my, my um, my comment, uh, another comment regarding the maximum variance method, because I have seen some equations to which I also contributed with uh, when working with Lucas Sussman. You mentioned the work by Lucas Sussman, but uh, I think you, you should also mention the work by Professor Ethel Maka, because the, that method was invented by Professor Maka in 1980s. Okay. So this is maybe this is very important to recognize the contribution uh, to the or origin. The maximum. Then later on, Lucas Usman um, used again this method, and, and so. The, yes. Uh, first, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the, no, it's very small. But yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I just <laughs> <took> information <laughs> from a, a technical uh, paper. That yeah, well, don't worry. Just. Uh, uh, but uh, just, just uh, <laughs> one point about the your your, your contribution. Well, um, I, I I really want to. Oh, okay, my team wants to, to make a lot of grants, so uh, I, I wanted to, to get those information to, to have a, a better distribution of, of, the, of the random mode. No, the no, no, I agree with you. The Gaussian hypothesis is the starting point. Yeah, yeah. Because you will have time to make things uh, much more complicated. Yes, so but I agree with you. We want more <laughs> to do Don't more. Worry. Don't worry. Yes, <laughs> I agree with you. Thank, Thank you for that. Thank you once again.